When the web started 25 years ago, it was uh, the only its openness to people innovating on it. But now when we look back over 25 years, almost half the people in the world are using the web. But I think some of us initially had uh, big hopes that the internet is going to lead to a society which, in which inequality fades away because everybody has got the same possibilities, everybody has got the same advantages, just starting off connecting themselves to the net. Guess what? That hasn't happened. In fact, here we are 25 years after the first web page and a lot of nonprofits, a lot of governments are realizing that uh, we have a crisis of inequality. And so every time people put more powerful things on the web, we actually increase the gap between the haves and the have-nots. Things need to be said explicitly for the internet because the internet gives you a certain power that you wouldn't have had before. As people have started to think about access to the internet more as a right, then that begs the question, OK, should we have a bill of rights for the internet? Snowden changed that dramatically by putting those revelations onto the table that it really started the conversation. I think we're indebted to Edward Snowden for actually introducing that material uh, in a way that I think nothing else could have done that. There have always been forces to try to control the internet. When you're a government of a country, it's very tempting to want to govern the internet within your country. Trouble is, it doesn't work because the internet is not a thing of countries. You can certainly, you can put in barriers, you can put in firewalls, but as you do that, suddenly your country, your people, your entrepreneurs, your teachers have all lost their voice. We have to be reactive when we realize that, whoa, actually this country or this company has stepped over the mark and we have to immediately take to the streets with placards and shouting. So in 10 years time, we'll see certain natural progressions, we'll see the internet speeds be very high, so it'll get to the point where the internet will be able to carry everything that your eyes can perceive. Just as when you listen to stereo, the internet can feed you. Anything your ears can hear, it gets enough, enough fidelity. Whether the internet is an open space or a closed space, I'm not going to predict. It's up to us. It all decides on what we do now, on the decisions we make now. <laughs>